Hello guys, Zdarz from DonovanImagination.com. Joining me today is Macie. Hello. And we are going to be doing a product review. We received a few of the paints, uh, metallic paints, new ones from Bleo range. Uh, the metallic paints that switch their color depending on from which direction you're looking. And we gave them a try, we are really satisfied and we would like to talk about them. So, Macie. Please tell me, uh, how is the uh, paints working with the airbrush? Uh, yeah, so that's the most fun part in my opinion, because uh, they are working great. Uh, I used, mm -hmm. I believe, something like 15 paints or, or so, and no clogging of airbrush whatsoever. Uh, the processor says that you may dilute the paint uh, to make it flow more easily, but I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. and they still work pretty well, so no problem at all. Nice. Nice coverage, everything was fine. And uh, did you see the difference? Because we used already from different companies uh, some of the paints and uh, how they vary against them? Uh, they vary quite well because, uh, once again, they were not clogging at all and uh, that's the biggest part for me. And other than that, the color coverage was very good, so yeah, they easily pair with uh, with other paints of the sort, or even surpass them. Cool, excellent. We painted a few models and few pieces. Uh, take a look at uh, the results over here. I remember that when we tried uh, other paints uh, before the Vallejo range was even in existence, uh, and that there were some problems with applying this kind of paint with the brush. Uh, how does the, the those ones? Uh, from what I had chance to test, it was working very well. Uh, it, the coverage was good and it was quite easy to blend it uh, with brush. So once again, very good uh, effect for those paints. Yeah. So awesome. this guy was uh, painted uh, using uh, a brush. We didn't use an airbrush on this one. And as you can see, the color is really smooth. It didn't like create any big parts of paint and the uh, shifting effect is visible so this paint is really really well designed awesome stuff and what kind of a primer is best in your opinion uh, i think that some uh, kind of glossy black primer may be uh, the best but still I think those paints give you a lot of uh, freedom with uh, experiments because for example I was um, priming some pieces with uh, different colors and the paints are behaving differently uh, accordingly to you know the different uh, mm -hmm. background so yeah a lot of way to play around with this the biggest part i think is to use the gloss before so okay. it, the, it will reflect more uh, and how about any pre-shading techniques did you uh, try that that, that uh, undercoat is black and then pre-shaded and yeah, then i yeah? did uh, very, uh, this very thing uh, there was a bike with mm -hmm. a, which i uh, primed black and then pre-shaded with white so it was that the white black transition and when you apply just one color on this model uh, it uh, the tone will vary very much depending on where the shade is uh, situated so on the lightest part it will be uh, let's say more green on the darkest part it will be more blue or so so yeah that's one another way to play around with those cool thank you much eh? thank you Let's say over here you can see green, blue, violet and it's fully violet over here, it's bluish now and then it goes to green. Like really amazing structural coloring, the patterns are really nice and smooth. This is all done on black primer. We have some uh, examples on the white primer, the color isn't as extreme as on the black surface but still it, it creates a really cool effect so if you want to do anything brighter you still can 
and those paints are really excellent like already ideas like for Alpha Legion come to mind from Warhammer some beetles from the Silver Nets stuff like that those paints will be ideal for you the effect is really awesome the finish is really smooth excellent stuff thank you guys for watching this product review uh, what's the end result of the tests we highly recommend those paints they are working phenomenal we'll definitely be using those because it's really easy to use as Mati said before you don't need to dilute them you can use them with a brush so if you want just to uh, spice up your details with those transition color paints for your cool metallics you can totally do that vehicles look excellent in those colors so if you're open for experimentation and want to increase your painting possibilities this is a product to choose and we are highly recommending it thank you guys for watching this has been a product review i'm Darush from Dilef Imagination leave a comment subscribe and happy day bye bye guys Look at this beauty.